Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I've got to show you something because I don't know how many of you have seen this. This video has been up for two days. Check this out, listen to this. And set up, approachable for new builders and small shops alike. This machine was made for makers who want professional motion without the price tag or complexity. Now, let's get to the pre-order details. Pre-orders open this Sunday, September 7th. Machines begin shipping approximately four months later. Based Four months later, guys. Based on order volume. Pricing will... Based on order volume. Reward early adopters. So Pricing will reward early adopters. Now, this video was posted two days ago. Let's do a little more research on this, okay? We got an AI overview here with a search of PWN CNC four-month dominator lead time. And of course, it says, while there is no official four-month lead time, which we just heard and we got confirmation right here, pre-order momentum, the launch of the Dominator was funded through pre-orders of PWNCNC forum post in March 2025, mentioned a lead time of 120 to 150 days. Now, the owner, who is that gentleman speaking, is now confirming a four-month lead time. Guys, over here, it says small business limitations. Listen to this. The company has acknowledged that as a small business, it has funding limitations that prevent it from fully stocking a brand new product line. If that's the case, then don't stock it. Why would you take your client's money up front and then you're saying, I will work with it and hopefully get these units to ship? Think about what's happening here, guys. For some reason... This company can't come up with the funding to move forward with a new product that he's so passionate about, yet they can't get the credit and funding to have the, the money available for them to actually go through prototype and actually release the unit. Now, when we look at this and also confirm that on their website, check this out. This is, I guess, the stock price of the system uh, or where it will be if you don't pre-order. And then as we come down here, Pay 60% up front and the remaining will be charged when your product is shipped? I mean, guys, holy shit. Like, are you serious? This is crazy. I don't know any business that does this except these genres. And for some reason, that seems to be the norm. And I don't know why we're getting away from normal business standards where if I can't afford to release a new product line that... I would start doing a startup kickstart fund and just go with that to where I'm trying to make as much money off you so I can get my new product line started. You are asking for trouble. I cannot emphasize that enough. Now, I don't think anyone's intentions going into these type of deals is bad. They may have good intentions, but guess what? Good intentions don't pay you back. So be very careful on how you proceed with any pre-order on any system, anywhere. If you're waiting four months, I mean, guys, we're talking virtually half a year. And then on top of that, he wants 60% up front. I mean, that's not the norm anywhere. And just to give you a more open perspective, let's go over to Grok. Let's check this out. Let's say allow this time. Evie there. Right here. Hi, Eve. I've got a question for you. We've got a company called PWNCNC that has a release coming of a new CNC that they're releasing to their clients. They're offering a discount for pre orders. However, they want to hold these pre order funds for four months prior to shipping this chassis now i feel that's a very very risky thing to do with clients money because that's not normal practice for any small business and that's an extended period of time you're right to be cautious that four month hold on pre-order fund is unusually long and could raise red flags for small businesses from what i've seen most companies like PWNC only authorize your card temporarily, not grab the cash up front, unless they're funding production directly. Holding full payment that early might mean they're cash strapped, using it as a bridge loan without saying so. Check their terms for refund policies. If they're delaying those too, pull out. 
Want me to look up more on their rep or standard practices? No, you don't have to do that. Actually, they want a 60% deposit up front, in which case they are naturally holding that until your system shifts, then you pay the remaining 40%. But you and I both know the odds that something may come up with a prototype or any hangups that happen, that could extend that period of time. And as you've already stated, refunds is what we should be concerned about. Am I correct? Spot on. A 60% upfront deposit is pretty steep. Normally it's 20 to 30% max for most custom chassis builders. If they hit snags, like prototype delays, you could be stuck waiting months, maybe longer, with your money tied up. Their refund policy is the key. If it's vague or restrictive, you're at real risk. Push for clear terms on timelines and refunds before you commit. I didn't say it, guys. The point she's making and I'm making is that we have your best intentions in mind to keep your money the safest and that would be in your pocket. If you want one of these systems, my ultimate suggestion is to wait until it has direct release where it can ship in a feasible amount of time so that your money is not tied up and they can work out the bugs of any potential manufacturing flaws dealing with it being a prototype from the beginning so that you get what you pay for. Would you agree? Absolutely. Waiting for the direct release makes sense. Your money stays safe, and you dodge prototype hiccups. They'll have sorted manufacturing kinks, so you get a solid product without the wait. Smart move. Thank you for your opinion. Anytime. So guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is scary. And more and more of our industry is doing this. We see here he's having anodization trouble solved. Let production begin. This is from June 23rd. And you can see here, I started to get some serious coming out of the very first tank of our anodization line. I tried everything, even just constantly moving the part during the five minute dunk. Uh, that only seemed to make it worse. I don't know if he's talking, he must be talking about the prototyping of the machine. Guys, please be careful. Your money is the safest in your pocket. If you don't get a feasible lead time, which again, feasible in terms of being normal reasoning would be probably two weeks. That's totally legit. When you start looking at four months, there is something wrong. This is not a product, it's an idea. And he's funding that idea with your money. And I'm telling you right now, I've seen this industry for over a decade change dramatically where they want to use your money to grow and not take any risk. Either that or they can't get the funding, in which case this makes no sense on how this individual cannot secure funding if his credit is where it should be to be a small business owner.